Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the first in my video series showing you how to complete these legendary law sectors solo. As we power level progresses, they'll get easier and easier. I've done this the first time as in 985. I'm a 98992 in this recording. So if you're interested in just going to the run, I'll, I'll put the timestamp up on the screen now. But I'm just going to do a little bit of explain, explaining about what I'm using and the triumphs and, and, and the bounties that are linked to doing this. So as you can see, you come down here into the Warmind Bunker. This kind of weekly, this daily uh, adventure is going to change every reset. So I, I, there's four of them to do. And they are linked to the Spelunker Bounty, the weekly bounty from the Warmind. There's two of them. This is for getting like the powerful reward or the, the higher reward. So I'm going to be using the Awestringer with Unstoppable Rounds. My Awestringer is nothing special. It's just a pretty stock Awestringer. I like it. It's got Rangefinder and stuff on it. Uh, Outlaw, sorry. Uh, I'm using Ariana's Vow because there's Barrier Champions in this. And I'm using the new Monarchy, the reintroduced new Monarchy Grenade Launcher, the Interference 6. Now, I'm using it because it came with Full Court, which I, I like Full Court, and it, and it came with Clown Cartridge. If it had spike grenades on it, I would I would have been very very happy. So this the the law sector we're doing now is Sky Sky Dock Four, I believe. I think that's what it is. There are four champions in it, and the bounty requires you to to kill twelve champions and open three chests. So you basically have to do three of these or this three times. There's also triumphs linked to these where you have to complete one without dying. And you have to complete one with the new set of armor on, the 7th Seraph armor. I'm going to show you how to get both of those in this run. So the run's pre pretty pretty straightforward, but I'm just going to show you where I attack the enemies from. So as soon as we come in, you're going to have an unstoppable, nothing too major, throw a grenade, stop the unstoppable while he's there, and, and then hit him. I've got the Catalyst for Ariana's, which is, if you don't have it, you should really go and get it. So I'm going to store Ariana's and let it reload. As soon as I get the audio cue for it to reload, I know that my unstoppable round will, will stop him. Below here is the only barrier champion in this. It's three unstoppables and a barrier. So I'm going to get myself in position where I can see the direction forward. So around here. And then I'm going to go down onto this platform. It provides me cover from the barrier. I can blow up this exploding barrel to take out the scions that are here. You don't have to be doing this on a Warlock. As you can see, the Rift doesn't really protect me too much. And I have a lot of issues with the grenades in this room. So what I've done is, what I've done in many Nightfalls, it's the same thing. If you've never seen me do it, I'll explain. Two shots, two or three shots to get his shield up. Two shots to break his shield and then hit him with the heavy. The good thing about doing that is, especially with a grenade, grenade launcher, is it gives your, gives your hand cannon a chance to reload. And then we're basically clearing out the enemies. We've got an unstoppable round the corner, which is why I'm not pushing up too much. I don't want adds and an unstoppable to deal with at the same time. So you've got some dogs coming as well. As I say, power level will make this easier as the weeks go on. But this this is for basically for the first week of doing these. Not everybody can grind out their power level. I understand that, which is why I'm making this guide. Because if it was just a case of everybody just intrinsically moving up to 900, you know, uh, 980, 990,000, then I wouldn't bother with a guide for this. But there'll be a lot of people that, that don't have time to grind that maybe are looking for, you know, easy strategies to actually do this. So you can do this. I think you can deal damage against enemies 50 power levels underneath the recommended. So if you if you were at 970, 960, 970, if you get to those, you can do this. It's just going to take you an extra shot or two to put down each enemy. So now we're at the boss room. We've got an unstoppable in here. We've got some scions, some legionaries, and obviously the boss. So we're going to want to try and clear out some of these enemies first. So there's two scions on the right. One of them jumps down, you'll see, and I take him from the front. There he is. I took out a legionary. Uh, there's an unstoppable, he's pushing us. I want to clear all of this before I enter the room because it's all it's all it's all strategy. You don't want to ha you want to be clear to do damage without having the smaller enemies still kind of pushing your position and still stopping you from dealing damage. So that's the unstoppable just about gone. I'm gonna have to hit him once with an unstoppable round, that'll kill him. 
So I'm going to push round to this right hand side. This gives me cover from the boss because the boss has that double attack where he's got heavy machine gun and he's got suppressor rockets. So I, I don't want to I don't want to give him an easy shot. So his arc, which is perfect for a grenade launcher. So I'm I'm going to break his shield and what I'm going to be doing is just like trying to get some shots on him. Uh, I mean, I think I was being just a touch, just a touch optimistic with hitting him there with a the Warlock melee. Uh, I'll tell you what that was. I thought I had my super. <laughs> so, for the interest of transparency, I was trying to throw a super at him. So, I broke his shield. His shield's back up. He, this is his first position. So, as you can see, I broke his shield again. I'm going to put some shots on him. We want him to move to his second position. And when he moves, we're going to move. As you can see, he's, he's, he's off now. The second position we're going to take up is up top, behind that blast that blast cover. There's a scion up here, so, you know, if you can take the scion before you get up here, it's brilliant. But if you can't, it's no problem. Now, getting the triumph for not dying basically means if you follow where I've gone and how I've done it, you'll, you won't die doing this. Getting the triumph for the seventh, seventh Seraph armor... You don't have to come in here with the armor on. You can switch before you kill the boss. So as you can see, I've got the boss quite low. Before you finish this, this is when you switch. I'm going to kill him. I know I'm going to kill him. You can switch your armor up here. Armor's not locked, and you'll get the triumph. Now that the boss is dead, you just have to clear the room of ads. Again, just be careful. Now that you've got you've got plenty of Ariana shots, Ariana will take down these ads pretty quickly. And make sure, because the Spelunker bounty requires you to beat I think 12 champions and open three chests. Remember to open the Seraph, Seraph chest at the end every time you beat it. Don't be like me, beat it once and completely forget about the chest. <laughs> so I had to do this four times. And there's the Seraph chest at the back. Make, get your rewards. And that's the run. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. If it does, a like rating is always appreciated. Take it easy, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.